Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a little mock cover that kind of looks like this one here. I just watched a Ron Paul Liberty Report and he was talking about Dr. Fossey was the villain of the week and I thought he should be promoted to the villain of the year. So I was going to try to respond to the Ron Paul Liberty Report with a little fake image. First off I just copied this image and I'm going to go over to paint.net which I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say edit, paste into new image. Now this image is huge. It's actually very rarely do you find images this large from Google Images, but this one is like 3100 pixels in height, but I'm going to take it down to about 1080, and I've got it set to uh, maintain the aspect ratio, so that'll scale it down. So now that I've got this a little smaller, the first thing I want to do to kind of preserve the same type of little texture background, this is probably the, this is the largest part of the image, so I'm going to just take this, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to go to a new layer, so I'm kind of separate from the original. I want to go all the way up to the top. I'm going to scoot this over to the edge. Do the same thing here. And go all the way down here. And now I can see a little better from here and realize we're not quite to the edge here. So we need to be a little further. And by the way, to do all that, if I didn't show you properly, you have to have this little thing here, the Move Selected Pixels option selected, and I'm still not quite far enough. Okay, that looks good enough. All right, so now we have our little kind of gray background. The next thing I want to do, I'm just going to add a text layer. Here, this one we'll just call Background. Okay, now I'm going to add a text layer. Just call this Text. And I'm going to just type in Villain of the year. Now I already did this, but this is my second take of the video. I didn't like the way it turned out the first one or it took too long, so I started over. But here I've got Villain of the Year and I've got a font of 54 and the font is Century School Book. You can use whichever font you like. Go to the next line and type 2020. And now, since this is a text layer, I want to make that just a tiny bit bigger vertically. So I'm just going to select it and click this again. Okay, so that's that. Now the next thing I want to do, I searched, I don't like this time, I found a better Time Magazine just now. I decided to remake the video. This one here is a little better, so I'm going to just copy this, go back to paint.net, and I'm going to say edit, paste in new image. Now I'm going to, I'm going to resize this a little bit down to just another huge image, which is, we'll make this the height of probably, oh, we'll go with about 400, something like that. So now I'm going to save this. And I will just call this, I'm going to go to my temp folder. And I'll just call this time white background. Now I'm going to go over to my site, which is pixeldatabase.net. I'm going to select, click the start button. I'm going to select our image. Now first off, if you've never used pixeldatabase.net, if you click the color picker, here I clicked the white area is a white of 765 and the red is quite a bit less. It's only the total in the 254s, which the total is just the sum of red plus green plus blue. So that's why here it's going to be 255 times 3 is white, 765. So to get rid of the white, it's very easy. You just say hide and I'm going to say total greater than 700. I could even lower that down, but that's low enough. Okay, so that got our image down. Now this is scaled up pretty big. I could I'll even go down just a little bit less because there's not much, uh, the red is much lower, so there, that's a little more sharper, I guess. I'll just say download, and that gets our, we'll call this, let me go back to temp, sorry, I'm kind of working in the, call this time transparent. So now what I want to do is go back, oh, I want to do that, let me open that from there, right there, let me open this file. And I'm going to hit Control A, followed by Control C to copy this to my clipboard. Go over here, and I'm going to add another layer for the logo. Call it Time Logo. Okay, I knew that was going to... I have too big of an image, so I'm going to go ahead and say Resize. And I'm going to lower that down to a height of about 320. Let's see if that's still too big. Something I'm used to hearing. Sorry, that was my humor of the day. Okay, sorry about that. That was loud, but okay. All right, uh, canvas size, not canvas size, resize. Image resize. 
and we'll go a little lower till we find we'll go to 200 all right now I'm pasting again now it fits so we've got our little time magazine um, they'll probably want to sue me but when they realize that their lawyers make more money an hour than I make a year they'll quit suing me okay now we're gonna go over here and I searched the internet and I found a little picture of Dr. Death here throwing a, a baseball at the Nationals game and I heard he was number 19 so he's you know I don't know he's about my least favorite person of the year or among them but I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer and we'll just call this villain okay so now we have our villain layer and the villain gets pasted I am gonna resize that a little let me kinda put it in the center but well, we don't wanna stretch this them it's not very uh, I do want to sharpen this image. Uh, sorry, FX Photo Sharpen. I use so many different graphics programs. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, it's not have to be perfect. All right, so that is. I'm gonna make that layer a little bit bigger now. All right. <laughs> Okay, all right, so now that is our very quick villain of the year uh, Time Magazine cover. To I'm going to do that even a little, yeah, that's fine. I could even take off that little rounded corner stuff right there, but I'm not going to bother. That looks okay. I'm going to just save this so I can post it on Twitter. If I wanted to, I could, I don't even know what that says. It's, let me get my magnifying glass. My vision's not great, so I want to see what this even says. If my magnifier glass comes on double issue okay so it's a double issue I'll leave the double issue there the double issue of Dr. Dylan here alright let me go to my Twitter folder for this and I will save this I'm gonna flatten it down as a PNG and I'm gonna call this villain of the year and save Twitter villain of the year for some reason it's my computer is not liking me doing it. There it is, just going really slow while I'm recording. I guess I've got too many uh, programs open. Flatten. Okay, so that is our little image here. All right, well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or video suggestions. I, I use pixeldatabase.net with paint.net pretty often now, and I think they're kind of like, a, you know, they're cousins, even though paint.net is probably the the more popular by about a million times, but pixeldatabase.net has some neat features that I think people that use paint.net will appreciate, plus the price is pretty good too. All right, have a great day.